Welcome back everyone, this is Liam. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. A little bit of a change of pace from my normal workflow. We're going to be working on some stock removal knives. So these knives are not hand forged, but that does not mean that they're any lesser quality. In fact, this steel 3V is going to be a higher performing steel than most of your simple high carbon steels. Um, you can't really forge this metal, so we can't use it with the hand forged knives like we can the high carbon steels. but being a stock removal knife it does allow us to use some of these more exotic steels so in my, in my normal workflow of course is axes lots and lots of axes and um, <clears throat> knives are just in between here and there in fact i've got some axes um you know heat treating and some axes um, in different solutions right now just waiting on them and that's when i get the chance to work on these knives this is like my vacation so i've got eight of these jaegers triple hologram jaegers that um, just need to be finished out in this video i'm going to be just grinding the handles down and finishing the handle and then ultimately finishing the knife as a, a finished product so it's just kind of changing it up a little bit i don't think i have done any videos on youtube yet of my stock removal knife lines these are actually something that you can order on my website um currently but i i don't want to talk about that anymore right now we'll go over a little bit more on the, these knives up close and everything at the end of the video let's go ahead and dive in and uh, get to grinding these things Okay, so now we're ready for the best part. That's gonna be handle sculpting. Here we go.
suck it out to the end. Thank you very much for watching. This is the finished product, my triple hollow ground Jaeger. The Jaeger is the knife design that I offer on my website, but it comes in different variations. The triple hollow grind is one of the grind variations, and then of course I have different handle materials that go with it. Uh, the triple hollow grind just refers to the three hollow ground bevels on the knife. It's really difficult to make. I don't know of anyone else that's making a knife like that. Um, and it just looks really cool. So those are the general steps that I go through um, from a glued pin sticking out block of handle material on a knife to the finished sculpted handle. This is um, fully contoured where it'll fit in your hand really well. It's all rounded off. Gives you a lot of control. And uh, as you saw in the video, I was doing a batch of eight. So I've got a few different types of handle materials on these and um, there's I think there's three different handle material options on my website if you do go to order um, one of these off of my website so in the future I want to do at least one video on um, the Jaegers grinding the blade or maybe different steps in the process of making these Jaegers because the triple hollow grind is a really difficult grind just speaking for myself and I think that it'd be interesting to share that with you guys Another thing I have planned for the future is changing the flat grind variation on my Jaeger. Um, on my website right now you can either order a triple hollow grind or a flat grind. I have a 16 inch diameter contact wheel coming in the mail. That is a big wheel for those of you who aren't familiar with knife making. That's a the giant wheel. So I'm going to be experimenting with replacing flat grinds with 16 inch diameter hollow grinds. And I think it's going to work on the Jaegers. I'll have to do some experimenting. I plan on doing maybe a video series on um, experimenting. It's all going to be about edge geometry, um, how shallow I grind it, and then I'll do some actual destruction performance tests on the flat ground knife versus the hollow ground knife. That's going to be really interesting. And if it turns out the way that I expect it to turn out, I'll be replacing all of my flat ground Jaeger variations with the 16 inch diameter hollow ground. Uh, Jaeger variation. So be on the lookout for that in the future. If you did enjoy this video, please like it and comment on the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and do that as well, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.